while I'm pulling up our stuff for our deep dive tonight, um, I kind of want to talk more seriously. In this intro, I usually put like, haha funny gag or haha stupid intro, poke fun at something uh, in this little section, but I do want to let you guys know that I am going to be changing the format of deep dives. Um, by my calculation, we should get a new cup announcement on the 18th. Yeah, pretty sure the 18th will be our first uh, new cup announcement, which means we have uh, three deep dives this week. And then depending on how things go, there will be three more next week unless I try to change this preemptively, which currently I'm leaning towards. And the reason for that is because uh, I have a new job. Long story short, I don't have uh, nearly as much time as I used to to um, kind of do everything that I want to do on the channel. I've basically been talking with uh, with some people that are very helpful in my life and um, it was kind of brought up that maybe I should change the way that I do things because of my new job and how things are impacted uh, at home versus at the job and things like that so um, I just kind of want to let you know that there will be a, a large shift in how I deliver Pokemon Go content from from this point forward. I would say that the 10th is probably where I'm going to stop doing uh, short form videos on deep dives. I don't want to like talk about it too much yet. Uh, we will talk about it in the upcoming weeks. But I already have these planned out and I basically might as well just go ahead and record and get them uh, finished so that we'll have deep dives basically till the 10th and then as of the 10th I will stop doing deep dives. I'm going to change the format, I'm going to change a bunch of stuff and completely reinvent my wheel I guess is the best way I want to say it. But yeah, so without further ado let's go ahead and get into Quagsire. Who we're talking about tonight who is a water and ground type pokemon maxing out at 1992 which by the way every time i talk about him i do have to say that is the best cp to be at uh but with a zero on attack 15 defense 14 stamina at level 29 uh you can hit 1499 which does give you the best stat product available to you inside of the great league now when it comes to ranking us in terms of bulk and stat product, Quagsire, of course, up against the entire Fusion Cup, we are pretty much in the good here. 20th in bulk and 17th in stat product, which of course is actually pretty high, but all of these numbers right here do come from our base stats, with a 152 on attack, 143 on defense, and 216 in stamina, which is uh, amazing. Getting into our moves, uh, we do have two fast moves, Water Gun and Mud Shot. Uh, Water Gun for 3 energy per turn, we get 3 damage per turn, which is boosted to 3.6 after stab. Mud Shot for 4.5 energy, we get 1.5 damage, which is boosted by stab to a 1.8. Um, I mean, this is this kind of like goes back to the Polyrath situation where I almost would say like you could really choose either one of these depending on if you want to push more damage right off the bat or if you want to rely more on your energy so you can get to your charge moves. Kind of depends on which way you want to go. Personally, I like Mudshot. Um, I like the whole like fast and kamikaze type feel that it brings to a moveset. So uh, we will be looking at Mudshot specifically today. Now in terms of our charge moves, uh, we haven't had any crazy additions or anything here in the last little bit. Uh, we basically got Sludge Bomb, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Acid Spray. Uh, I don't feel like I really need to go over the numbers, especially considering they're on the screen at this point. Uh, one thing I will say though is I am a huge fan of Acid Spray. I have advocated for Acid Spray for a long, long time and I'm still on that train and I will always be on that train as long as it does a negative two stages to the defense of the enemy. 100% of the time. It's it's amazing for me. It's not necessarily about like doing tons of damage with Quagsire right off the bat. I know that Acid Spray is going to suck right off the bat, but it's about setting up for the next Pokemon. Like, even, like let's say you're in a really bad position and you switch into Quagsire and you know you can set up this pokemon even if it kills quagsire you can set up this pokemon to be a lot easier for the next pokemon that comes in like I, it's just it's a whole like mind game thing i love it 
Um, out of the other three charge moves, I did take a look into all three of these. Uh, Sludge Bomb wasn't hitting on a whole lot for me. I personally didn't like it. Uh, and it kind of came down to Earthquake and Stone Edge. For what it's worth on PB Pokey, uh, the actual moves that they go with is Mud Shot, Earthquake, Stone Edge. That is a completely fine moveset. I definitely understand it, uh, especially with Mud Shot's big energy gain. Uh, it makes a little bit of sense that you can get to those charge moves a little faster. You don't necessarily need Sludge Bomb or Acid Spray to help you gain it, uh, that much speed. Uh, but personally for me, like I said, Acid Spray is a mainstay and it really came down to whether I wanted to run Stone Edge or Earthquake. Personally in this cup, I feel like Stone Edge is the more... How do I want to say this? It's the more safe move to go with. And I mean that because of all the things that are going to be in the meta. So let's just really fast, I know we're going to jump ahead a little bit, but let's look at a couple things. Charizard is going to be weak to Stone Edge. Alola Ninetales is going to be weak to Stone Edge. Togekiss is going to be weak to Stone Edge. Frostlass is going to be weak to Stone Edge. Noctowl, I mean, just Altaria is going to be weak to it. I mean, there's a ton of things in this like core meta. Uh, Alolan Marowak, I, I literally looked at his name and then forgot about him. Uh, a ton of these things are going to be weak to Stone Edge. Now, there are going to be plenty of things weak to uh, Earthquake as well. Uh, Alolan Marowak, Probopass, um, Alolan Sandslash would be in there this time. There are going to be a ton of things. Bronzong actually is in there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if I'm mistaken any of these dual typings, I'm sorry, it's kind of off the top of my head. I didn't write any of this down. But uh, Stone Edge just seemed like to to me to be the better one out of those two. So our move set for the rest of the video is going to be Mudshot, Stone Edge, and Acid Spray. Um, and you know, we're not going to waste any time. Let's just go ahead and jump into these shield scenarios. I, I do have something to say when we get to our wins and losses, but we'll get to that. So in our zero versus two, we actually start up against the entire cup with a 62.9%, which is uh, expected. I mean, you should be at least at 50% here is what I usually say. Uh, two versus zero is a 92.3, which is also expected. I say at least 90% at worst. Um, 95 is really what I'm looking for, but you know, 92.3 is fine. Zero versus two, at least double digits, and we do hit that at 12.6. And the 2v2 is at 64.3, which is a-okay. That's perfectly fine. Next, in terms of the meta, we do have a 50% in the 0 versus 0, which is kind of where we would want to be bare minimum. Uh, 1 versus 0 is 65%, 0 versus 1 is 30%, which is actually pretty freaking good. Uh, and then the 1v1 is 55%, only 5% better than our 0 versus 0. So I would say in terms of like all these shielding scenarios, um, the ones where we're a shield down makes me pretty proud of Quagsire, and I think that comes from having Acid Spray. Even though we're a shield down, or even two shields down in the cup situation, um, we, we have a little bit of a way to mitigate some damage because it doesn't matter whether the opponent uses that shield or not on Acid Spray, they're gonna still get the drop in their defense. So it really helps out a lot. Um, in some certain scenarios, I could see Water Gun actually being really good for that type of play. Like if you want to just literally lower the defense on the opponent by just spamming Acid Spray and then using Water Gun as the more powerful move, uh, that definitely could work in some scenarios, but I didn't try that. Uh, anyways, so now let's actually take that 1v1 shield scenario, the 55% that we had, and let's actually kind of break this down into wins and losses. So in terms of wins, we do have Alolan Marowak, Charizard, Alolan Ninetales with Powder Snow, Alolan Ninetales with Charm, Probopass, Heracross, Togekiss, Alolan Muck, Frostlass, Knocked Out, Alolan Sandslash, actually finish it as it there. So, uh, all these are pretty okay. I, like I said with the Stone Edge uh, comment, these are all pretty good. Alolan Marowak, Charizard, Alolan Ninetales, uh, Togekiss, Frostlass, Knocked Out, all those are going to be having a problem with Stone Edge because they do carry some type of weakness to it whether it's a, uh, a fire type or a flying type or Charizard if you're both of those but either way then in terms of our losses here's kind of like the downside to this moveset at least in PV Pokey simulations we are gonna lose the mirror so we do actually have a loss up against ourselves first and foremost now I do think that that is a simulation kind of thing. Uh, I, I don't think that necessarily every single time from a dead start you're going to lose to yourself uh, if they run the other moveset, but for what it's worth in simulations it does happen. 
Then in our other losses, we do have Wigglytuff, Poliwrath, Whizcatch, Bronzong, Swampert, Venusaur, Altaria, and Shiftry. So even though Altaria is going to be weak to Stone Edge, you basically need to be able to bait out that one shield for it and then hit it with a Stone Edge. With Dragon Breath, I'm pretty sure you just kind of have a hard time getting to that second charge move to get to Stone Edge. But in the case where you can have some energy charged up and switch into Quagsire, I think Altaria is not nearly as bad as the simulations make it seem. So now if we actually take all those losses and break those down into categories, uh, you'll see some trends here. Some grass types like Shifter and Venusaur, uh, which by the way, you may have noticed that the, the meta list was a lot shorter than usual. They took out Victory Bell um, and a couple of others that I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is shorter um, and basically it's just more refined at this point. So in terms of these uh, categories, grass types like Shiftry and Venusaur are going to be a big problem. One of the easiest ways to get rid of those though is the fire types like Alolan Marowak or Charizard. Alolan Marowak kind of iffy against the Shiftry, so I may would maybe go with Charizard up against the Shiftry. It's not going to be nearly as awkward. Alolan Marowak could be good against the Venusaur, I guess, but Charizard does fine there too. Alolan Marowak is just kind of iffy against the Shiftry if you're expecting plenty of Shiftries. Next category is actually going to be the Mud Boys that we have a lot of problems with. Did that come out right? Mud Boys. Uh, like Swampert and Whizcash. And one of the easiest ways to get through those are with the grass types like we just talked about. Shiftry and Venusaur are great ways to get into the Mud Boys considering that they do have a super duper weakness to the grass type. And then our last section here is something that I'm just going to call the Misfits because they don't really have a whole lot in common, but they definitely do beat us, which is, I guess, the one thing they have in common. Uh, so Altaria, Bronzong, and Wigglytuff all kind of showed up here, and it was kind of weird trying to find a, a section that could you, you could really call these, I guess. But one thing that I did is I tried to find Pokemon using the Battle Matrix that could beat all three of these. Uh, there were none. So what I did is I kind of took Pokemon that could beat two out of the three. Like Frostlass can actually beat Altaria and it can beat Bronzong. I'm 99% sure Frostlass can beat Bronzong and Altaria. Charizard actually beats Bronzong and Wigglytuff and then Probopass can actually beat Altaria and Wigglytuff. Don't quote me on that, but at least these three Pokemon, Frostlass, Charizard, and Probopass can actually do some work up against Altaria, Bronzong, and Wigglytuff in some sort of fashion. I forgot to write down exactly which ones. But uh, for the gist of it, I mean, Quagsire is Quagsire. I love this guy's face. He is the epitome of like, like good vibes. I love him. I love him. I will never tell you that Quagsire is bad because he is not bad at all. Uh, I will take Quagsire any day of the week. I love Quagsire. So I highly recommend at least checking out how he fits into your team um, or Maybe Whiskash, because I do find that Whiskash has a little better numbers this month, but you gotta you gotta go with what you like, man. Quagsire may be your thing, and that's okay. If you want to help support the channel, um, you can do that by going down into the description, Patreon, YouTube memberships, all those things are great. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for hanging out. I love you guys. Uh, I think that this change is gonna be hectic at first, but it is gonna be a very good change and. Hopefully we'll provide you guys with more content than what I've been providing you because I'm going to have to step up and do more Pokemon per month. It'll just be in a different format. So I know it sounds weird at, at first, but just trust me, I, I'm moving in a direction that I'm happy and excited to move in. So either way, I'm going to go ahead and head out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.